Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Fortress Craft Evolved. Last episode, we were kind of pondering, or I was pondering what next I should work on. Oh, look at that solar panel's like uh, backwards. Let me fix that. Easily distracted here. Um, yeah, we talked about routing our imbued missiles maybe into another storage container and setting up another missile launcher so that's kind of what we got going on here right we've got 95 imbued missiles five basics and my concern is that maybe it's only these basic ones that keep getting fired off or something because uh we are still taking a beating on our hub it's getting destroyed kind of on the regular so let's let's do this let's choose this is going to be i guess imbued I M B maybe plasma imbued missiles sure those should start filling up good and then what I didn't account for is power hmm gonna need to power another missile launcher don't know what do we want to do with that um hmm Let's see. I'm just thinking how best to route the <laughs> how best to route the power. I guess I could put a couple power blocks here. They don't need to be anything special. Uh, Cause I don't think these things are consuming massive power. Um. Boy, yeah. I'm just thinking it would have been better to have like the power here. Let's see. Yeah, if this was all pushed down a bit, then I could have power blocks on either side of this. Oh, we can still do that. Let's do... Let's rearrange things. Nope, nope, that's not going to work. Uh, just do this. That solves my problem for the immediate term. Let's see, do I have missile launchers on my hopper? I think I took them off. Let's... Up and down. I built a few right at the end of last episode. I'm not sure if that got caught in the video or not, but it did. And maybe we want it right here. So now we've got a regular missile and an imbued missile. And this thing is now loaded back up with mostly regular missiles. And we're still feeding in the imbued missiles over here. So that... Let's try this and just see. It's not the most efficient setup at all but um, like I said the last episode I do want to rework these defenses pretty significantly once I get to the next level of power storage block once we get to some big ones we'll probably rework this but this would be interesting to see if this helps where's my there it is bam and again imbued um, uh, hitting the wrong keys. Okay. Same kind of situation here. Could be good to go. And where's our other ones? Did I just go walking right by it? Yep. Uh, we can try to follow a pattern here a little bit, I suppose. This is a waste of power storage blocks, but they're not too expensive. Bam. Be nice if this uh, stopped the carnage of my central power hub. We'll find out soon enough, I think. So I've got, you know, I think I've got enough missile production, at least for what we're doing now. We're going to need to scale this up, I'm sure. And I'd like to put some maybe further out. Or maybe, maybe we put some missile launchers here too, but I need to route that all underneath. All right, how do we want to do this one? Same kind of thing, right? Here, here. Our storage blocks, point, point. Missile launchers in the same hop bar. There you go. And then hopper. And filter. Just getting a little, little too disorganized for my liking here, but 
I'll make do. Bam. And we doubled the number of rocket launchers. Don't like the way this is set up. I mean, ideally we'd have that power generator right in the middle and then battery, battery, right? So there'd always be a supply of power rather than having this missile launcher sit on top of a generator, but maybe it doesn't make a huge difference. Let's take a look. How long do we got till the next attack? 14 minutes. Of course, I'm going to forget about it. All right. Yeah, I'll probably forget. <laughs> but we'll have to come up and see. We'll know if all the lights go off if our hub got destroyed. Because that's what happens. Um, that should be a reasonable improvement. What else do we do? We added power storage blocks, the um, organic type, to some of our Mark III turret towers so that should help a little bit i don't know it's gonna make a big difference but it should should help the fight a tad and then these guys yeah are deceiving i've just got regular turrets on top of these towers eventually we can maybe upgrade those to mark threes but again i want to rework all the defenses what to work on now we could ramp up missile production uh i'm not gonna do that we could, um, what was the other thing? There's a couple things. I know what we're going to do. We're going to start looking at mining the crystal out of the cold caverns. And that's going to involve, I think, moving away from belts and using some other method of transport. Like, this is a mess too. Look at this. It's hideous over here. That's all got to, <laughs> that's all got to be ripped out. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we got to do that. And then the other thing that's kind of in the background, um, there's several things in the background, right? We need to scale up our, our, um, our hive mind farm here for liquid resin, refined liquid resin that needs to be scaled up. And then we also need to automate the like machine blocks and things. I don't know if I can even bring those up here. Uh, maybe I can search machine. All these guys, hardened machine blocks, alloy machine blocks. I think that's one that is used a lot. This needs to be automated and it's going to take a lot of work. Um, but I'm pretty sure we're going to need that. But let's, uh, let's this episode, let's start thinking about mining crystal from the cold caverns. How are we going to do it? We know we need mining drills with, um, Mining drills with the cutter heads. I've got a bunch of cutter heads down here on the, what I'm going to call the second floor here, level minus 20. I have a bunch. I'm not making use of them. I should be. And the challenge is going to be my inventory. Oops, keep hitting the wrong key. It's because I'm playing multiple games at the same time. Um, I don't have much space in my inventory to carry these cutter heads. Maybe I can get rid of some stuff. Let's do that first. I'm going to go up a level. Oh, maybe I can I get to it from down here. No, I'm going to go up a level and I've got all these crates over here. Let's uh, see if I can dump off some stuff that's useful. Hey, we got a hive mind brain in here, two hive mind brains. These plants, I'm not using these for anything. These goopy danglers and all that stuff. I don't know what to even, even be keeping those in storage. They're just taking up space. Um, yeah, we're looking to dump off junk. I got a light here. I'll just dump that off out of convenience. I see some parts here. I'm just going to... I'll take those with me. We'll get those processed. Got some blocks that are taking up space. I got copper wire. I need more copper wire for crafting. Empty fuel canisters. I don't need those. That's garbage. Um, Arthur chargers, I'll keep. Grommets, I'll keep. We could probably store those grommets on the second floor. Let's let's do a little organizing. I know it's going to be a little tedious, but we'll get it done. It won't take too long. We can pick up that little whatever it was. I'm going to unload my organic parts in one of these. That can go. And basically, I'm just looking to free up inventory because I'm probably going to take cutter heads with me wherever we're going. Organized by type. What else we got? Any more broken bug parts? I don't think so. That's all good. 
I got a bunch of refined liquid resin. I need to... I guess I can keep that for crafting. I've got four organic matter. I'm just going to throw that in the grinder over here. That macerated. Again, just trying to free up inventory space. That can go. Refined liquid resin I'm going to hold on to. I'm going to hold on to these pristine bug parts. I could probably get rid of that steel. Maybe I need that for crafting. Energy, composite, fuel. I've got... things you just don't need to be carrying everywhere. Hasmet imbued missiles. I got two of those on me. Where can I find a missile turret under here? Can, right? Probably. Where are those being supplied? Right here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's get rid of... I can't. It's full. All right. Find our stairs. Get rid of some more stuff here. I'm going to get rid of these missiles. I'm going to get rid of this cargo lift. I'll have to remember that's there. I'm going to get rid of advanced machine blocks. Get rid of these guys. I'm going to try to pull, pull this plant stuff down. Nope. I'm going to free up space. This is junk, so I can put it all at the bottom. I don't need to look at it. Got a bunch of extra copper plates down here for some reason. What else can go about this power storage? It's nothing special. It's just a level one. It's taking up an inventory slot. You have a high powered one. I want to hold on to that one, I guess. And that is good enough. Good enough. I'll hold on to those logistics grommets. Let's go down. Yeah, let's go get cutter heads. And then we're going to go look at level 200 and below. We'll walk down there and see if there isn't something we can figure out. To get crystal going. See, I've got all these cutter heads. I'm not making use of them. That's kind of a big waste. I should be throwing these in my gold and titanium and nickel mines. Some of those mines are already already have some stacks of these in place. We're getting much more efficient mining. Oh, maybe I can teleport down to 200. Do I have anything at 200? Let's see, I'm looking for 200 is the first number. There's 200 for 10. That's a little far out. Do I have anything close? A few hundred home. Let's do that one. Boom. Okay. Are we in cold caverns? Yeah, we are. Level 200 here, I don't think, has any crystal. I've done a bunch of all ex excavating. In fact, all this excavating that we're looking at right here has been done by hand. Mostly for me walking back and forth like this. I don't think there's any crystal on this this floor. Any crystal to be had. I don't think there's any anything at this level to be had. I sure don't see any. Uh, so let's go down to the next level. Boom. We'll just take the express elevator here. And I'm seeing crystal already. Let's see. 24,000. It's not a lot, is it? Not a lot. So we're at level 210. And here is our um, our cargo lift that we need to get put in place for this level, 4210. Why don't we... Well, let's take a look around. I was going to say, why don't we set up a teleporter here and get that charging. And then just plan to work off of this. Off of this level, but first I want to see how much more crystal we can find on this floor. There's a little bit here. Let's see what this is about. 290,000. That's not bad. And then we want to move. Do I have some um, 
Auto excavators. Oh man, I'm out. I gotta get some more of those. Get it stocked up. Let's keep this guy drilling. We're gonna be working down here for a while. Did I not pick him up? Oh, you know what? I don't have inventory space. All right. Do do do. Take care of that. I'm just gonna. Oh, come on. Shift. Control. Oh, no, don't tell me I gotta drag these. Uh, let's see. Okay, shift, drag, split stacks. Oh, are you telling me there's no... Okay, press I to toggle. Shift, control to remove. Shift, control. Control, shift. Nothing is moving all of the drill heads. All right, I need to make sure I get these. I'll get rid of the other ones in a minute. I thought I could move everything of one type, but... Playing so many different games... That, that's not always the case. I want to get this guy drilling because we're going to spend some time. I guess we're going to commit to doing this level. We can take a look. Let's take a look one more level down. Ooh. I don't know if it's drilled out. That looks like it's two levels down, doesn't it? Um. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like it's two levels down. Let's, um, shoot, 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 shoot. Trying to pick a floor where we're going to mine crystal. It'd be nice if there was a lot of deposits nearby. But I have not spent a lot of time messing around here in the cold caverns. We need to set up some charging stations too. Some Arthur charging stations, especially in this area. Because, uh... We are burning through our little battery power faster than, much faster than we do on any other level or any other area. Except maybe the toxic caverns are, they're way deep down. I think, I don't know if those are 400 down or 600 down. They burn through a lot of power too. Nothing here. I could ping for crystal and there's also, um, I think some upgrades. This is where I've been kind of mining crystal by hand. Let's take a look at what the size of this deposit is. 521,000. That's not bad. Does it? I wonder if it goes up. I guess I could, could I get to this from above? Looks like I can, right? That deposit goes up pretty high. We might be able to access that from the next, the, the level above. What was that? 210. Let's see what we got going over here. We got more here. Take a look. 14,000. It's not a lot. 75 again. Not too much. There's a bunch over there. Why is this guy not chewing through the rock? No reason this is not getting power anymore. It used to, it no longer does. I think I know why. I think I stole this power at one point. This, uh, this beam coming down to use it at another level. Um... This isn't bad. We've got three deposits right nearby. We could try and target this area. The downside is we're at level 220. How is that possible? 210. This stairway. Hmm. I think this is mislabeled. That's not 210. Talking about the, um, the tunnel, the mine shaft, basically. Does this say 210? No, that's a 70. That's what this is supposed to say. Let's fix that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. This is really the tunnel meant for level 70. 
but I've been using this particular shaft to clear out areas all the way down. So that shaft has been reused, not just for mining. Um, if we did it here, we'd have to go way out to get to the mining shaft for level 220, which is what we're on right now. Let's do... It was 210. We went all the way out to 210. And we found some stuff. Let's just plan on starting here. It may not be the best choice, but I don't want to spend the whole episode looking for a location. We'll get a bunch of power down here. We'll put more auto excavators going. We'll tap into the little deposits we've got. That'll at least get us started. We know we're going to need more mine shafts to mine crystal. It looks like we've got three deposits in view. One of them is really tiny. So what we want to do, here is our shaft. These are all of our power hookups, and we're going to get more, I believe. These are all for us to use, I think. I may have kept that. I may be using that one, too. <laughs> this one right here on the edge. Maybe I'll leave that one. Uh, yeah. So let's do a couple things. Let's set up. Let's set up a teleporter and a charger. So let's get that going. An Arthur charger here. Boom. Because I think we're going to be working down here for a while. Um, boy, I'm right in the way of that crystal thing. That's all right. Uh, I'm going to put a big fancy battery here and I'm going to put a teleporter and an Arthur charging station. There's Arthur and a teleporter here and we'll call this, this is minus 210. Yeah, minus 210, 210. Let's, that's what we'll name this guy. Uh, minus 210. And then I can put crystal mine or something. For now, that'll name our teleporter. And then let's go up to the surface. That one is excavating, which is good. Let's go to the surface. We need to get auto excavators. Then we need to stop at level 20, which is where we're generating power and sending it down. And I want to get three more, um, three more things of power coming down here. So we may have to stop at a couple floors in between to connect that power up to make sure it all comes down here. But then we'll have six beams of power coming down. So let's do that. I can't use a teleporter yet. It doesn't have enough power for me to go anywhere. I can't even jump to another one. We're going to have to do a little bit of walking. While we do, I can chip away the walls here. We're not going to discover anything, I don't think, doing this, but might as well chip away a little bit. I should drop off. I should have dropped off my, um, should have dropped off those drill heads and then we've got more drill heads. Do we have a container here? I can't remember where we put that container. Cut our heads for the uh, mines. We'll we'll get it all squared away. But first, we need to excavate. So we'll go here. This guy looks like it's charged. Let's go straight to the hub. Boom. And I want a pony. No, I want um. I want excavators. So I gotta clear my filter, which is kind of annoying. Boom. Want not those workfloor excavators. I'm still using the Mark ones. I haven't even tried the Mark twos. Um, they're kind of expensive. If someday I'm gonna try them, let's go bold and grab 27 of these, and then I'm gonna backfill all the. Mark one laser transmitters I just used up. Boom, crafting, boom, boom. Crafting. What are we doing on storage boxes? Hoppers we could use. Crafting, crafting. And then how about power thermic genera generators? Just making sure I've got a decent supply of things. Excuse me. I need copper wire. That's my problem. 
and power storage blocks, Mark twos. Yeah, I need to, I need copper wire. Something I need to get automated. I don't have it automated. Let's take a look. We've got an attack coming in here. There goes some missiles. Boom. That took that guy out. This attack, being that it's got wasps, I'm guessing isn't super strong of an isn't a big attack. I'm gonna try to avoid that because I don't want to pick it up. In fact, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to pick up any of this stuff right now. I'd rather have my inventory kind of clean. We just cleaned it out. Oh, there's a big guy. Let's see. Let's stick around here for a second. I'm just gonna chew up these blocks while we're watching. Let's see if that big guy gets taken out really quick. Missile launchers have a huge range, which is nice. So the ones that we've got placed should help in just about all the directions, I would think. We're so close to the hub. But I want to see that big guy get taken out. Looks like there's only one coming so far. One of these big guys. We'll wait for him to get in range. They fly super duper slow. But watch us for a little bit just because we've been working on the defenses. This doesn't look like the wave that's going to take us out for sure, the hub, but I kind of like to see those missiles take out that big guy at a distance. You can see the Mark, what are those, Mark II lasers or Mark III lasers? With the 3,600 hit points per shot. That's nothing compared to the missiles. Oh, so that guy got taken out pretty far back. The big guy. I'm happy to see that. Happy to see that. There's some more missiles way out there taking out the big guy. Shooting. out there a little bit and just see what we've got coming. Now it's a bit of a distraction. A couple more big guys coming. I wish these dropped something more valuable, but they don't seem to. They seem to drop the same stuff as a little wasp does. Bunch of big guys coming here. Bunch of them. I'm not sure what that little laser activity we just saw was. There shouldn't be anything even over there. Okay, here comes a missile. 45,000. Okay, that took that guy out. Looks like a little missile and a big missile hit that one. Don't think they take long to reload. Wow, we got a lot of big guys coming. Nice. Nice. And our little platform here. Just kind of monitor this attack a little bit. There are a lot of big guys coming. Another one just got taken out. A big guy. You can, uh, one obvious problem we've got, right, is all our bug part collection. We're missing out on a lot of bug parts that are valuable. We need to ramp that up as well. I don't know if I'll switch back to the Falker beacons. They have a longer range. Or if we keep doing the vacuum hoppers from below. Look at these guys. We've got a big attack. Let's, uh, let's go take a look and see what our threat rating is. Again, I'm just going to chew up a rock every time I get a chance here. More missiles firing. Looks pretty cool. Patch this hole in the ground. Yeah, I just want to see what our threat rating is. They're getting a little closer now. The little guys are. 
Look at our uh, missile supply here and our turrets. I bet we're doing just fine. Take a look. Guy's got a hundred. You see that one's got a hundred. So our supply of missiles is fine. We might be able to add some more turrets actually. Missile turrets. Auto ice. Oh, we can see a weakness in my solution here, right? This is loaded with a hundred regulars. And so it's starving out this guy. It's got room for another. So the routing of missiles, I need to improve that. Clearly it's not optimal. Probably need two separate pipelines. One for the imbued, one for the regulars. The imbued, I believe, will not shoot unless they can um, maximize their full damage. So if I've got a boss common that only has a thousand hit points left, I don't think the high-powered missiles are going to fire. That's kind of why I wanted to separate these things out. One of the reasons. But it looks, it looks pretty good, right? I know I'm picking up parts I don't really want. Getting taken out. These have been getting taken out before the lasers can even kick in. Although the big lasers are going, right? You can see the 3,600 damage. Those are reaching out to say hello. This guy may have less hit points than a basic missile will even do. The laser should be able to handle that pretty easy. Because even the basic missiles aren't firing. Oh, I take it back. One looks like one just did for 75,000 hit points. Whoa, there is a huge one for 450,000 hit points. Not sure what the delay is. And then the other thing I'm not sure on, you guys can uh, let me know in the comments. Do the missile turrets need line of sight? They don't seem to. Seems like they're able to shoot through all the stuff I've got. That guy just took two direct hits to the gut. Got a bunch more coming. We're not going to watch the whole battle. That's We're looking pretty good. We'll see if... Um, We'll keep an eye on if the lights all go out and see what happens. It occurs to me I could dump these bug parts in here, right? The stuff I don't want. In fact, I could probably do these too. Uh, I'm not going to chance it, but I think if I throw those plant parts in there, they'll end up just getting macerated. All right. Let's hop out of here and hope that our defense holds. It looks like it's been improved to me by what we did. Still not optimal, but it looks improved. All right. What are we doing? We're going to... We need to stop at level 20. And we need to go out and put some more power generation and send it down to level 210. But let's see if we've got 2200 on here or something close. There it is. 2200. Boom. Boom. And we want 210. There's 200. There's 210. So we've got power here. We need to go down to the next level, which I think is 80, to hook up the power. Make sure these are connected to the next level down. They won't they won't reach all the way down. Let's see. I've got these marked too as power, I think. Let's see how it says power. So that's a level where we need to. Um, put more transmission. Minus 80. So minus 80 is where we want to be. We want minus 80, 200 if we've got one out there. I don't know that we do. 80, 200. 80, 200. Boom. I like it. And we're looking for 210. That's over here. And we do not have the transmitters. So that's why the power's not making it down. We're going to add them. Wait a second. How come? We're going to add them. Let's just add them. Uh, boom. I was curious why we don't have a transmitter right there. Because it looked like we were getting power. I am going to put one there. And then if I can get to it, I'll put some here too. Boom, boom, boom. 
Okay, that's that. Eventually, we're going to need... Well, we're not going to need power coming down here. We're going to set up a, a cargo lift. All right, let's go down to the next level we need to get to. We're at, what, 80? So it's probably, what, 140 or something? We'll look here. There's 140 home, 140, 140. There should be one that says, like, 140 power. There it is. 140, 410. Do we have a 140, 200? No, 140, 200 would be nice. All right, this one's close enough. 140, 140. Again, this is just another level that we need to uh, bridge the power down. Here's level 150. We want to go to 210. This mine is still working. Is this 10? No, what is this? Tell me it's not tin yet. Lithium, good. Uh, you know what I can do? While we're here. Sorry. Um, these are, I think, are my drill heads right here. Remove all these? Yeah, let's put, let's put some in here. This will extend the mine quite a bit. Um, I can always get more drill heads. I don't think... I guess maybe I do. I managed to get... See, that one's already got six. That's remove only, so that tells me this is what this is for. Might use them all. Need to find a more effective way of doing this. There is a way of using the Falkers to, to do this, to actually automatically deliver the cut heads, cutting heads to your mines. I'll have to look that up. I think I saw a video on that like a long, long time ago. All right, back to the work at hand. 210. We want to get to 210. That's the level that we're working on. That's 200. Here's 210. So let's put our power transmitters down. Already got this tunnel protected defense wise. I'm going to rotate this, make sure it's correct orientation. Occurs to me I didn't check the one that was a level up from here, so it could be not sending power down, but we'll discover that and debug it later if that's the case. Here's an old mine that's not used anymore, looks like. Uh, I'm not going to clean that up right now, but we will... Maybe I can do it off camera or something. Someday never. Uh, I'm looking for my teleporter. We want to go down to... I think it's going to be 200 this time. So 200, 200 would be nice. Just scan in here. Oh, come on. Did I scroll by it? 210, 210. Okay, that's the one we just set up. We want 200, 200, unfortunately, because we're going to have to send power down. We might not have it. There's 200, 410. And it's too bad they're not sorted, right? All right, let's do this one. Here's 210. Ooh, it looked dark here. For a second, I thought our CPH got destroyed. 410, so we need to go this way. Yeah, I don't know what ores are here. Ooh, there's a hole right there. I need better lights. My center mouse button, man, is just not so great. Uh, let's keep going. Stay on the pavement here. That'll move us a little faster. I could charge Arthur for the heck of it. I just sent him over to the charge thing. Oh, he's already charged. All right. Looking for 210. 250, 240, 230. All right. Here we go. More transmitters. I'm not using the lenses yet. Maybe. Someday, I'll get around to doing those, but it's just a nuisance. I don't really need it for this stuff. All right, and then we can just hop on down, take the express elevator here, and we're right where we want to be. So we've got power. I've got um, excavators now, too. So let's, uh, what we can do here... We can fill this all in. 
Does all this power belong to us for the most part? I may... 210. Wondering if I should let this one go through. Um, sometimes I've been using this level, the first one on level 200, to help clear out a bunch of other areas. I may try not to use that one. Uh, the reasons will maybe become apparent a little bit later on. Uh, let's change this around. Let's put... Okay, that'll feed that one. And then let's move this one over and get some drilling going. Just in the area of where a cargo lift is and maybe we can uncover some more crystal. I know I can use the scanner and find it, but where's the fun, man? Now, eventually, maybe we'll do that, but I want to clear these areas out anyway. It's just kind of the design I'm going with. So let's do this. Boom. And down these excavators. Okay, that's that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Now I need... Okay, transmitters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then behind that, I need a battery, a battery, and a battery. Then I need a transmitter pointing up, and a transmitter pointing up. Then I can get rid of these other transmitters that I was just using as spacers. Boom! That's all looking good. And now I need defenses, because we got power. Anywhere I got power down here, I need defense. You fight off the baddies. Um... How am I going to do this? How about... How about... Just trying to think of how we might extend this. I may want to leverage these same things. These same power storage blocks. To set up excavators going in this direction and the other direction. Off of this stock. Rather than having to move it all. Um... Let's let that do its thing for a while. We'll revisit that. Not sure if that makes sense what I'm saying. Basically, I was going to use these batteries, set up laser transmitters and auto excavators or work floor excavators to go in this direction and the other. But I might as well wait till this guy burrows in a little bit. Then we can go right and left. It just means I got to move this whole apparatus in. But it's not a big deal. We'll do it. And we're going to do the same thing over on the other side. Just want to get to exploring for crystal. We still got to figure out how we're going to belt this stuff. I don't think conveyor belts work down here so well. In the cold caverns. And then I'm not sure if Frozen Factory, if that expansion takes place down here somewhere or what. Just don't know anything about it. But I'm hoping we can get into that content at some point. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom. It looks like I should have bought more batteries or crafted more, right? Go through them pretty fast when I'm doing this stuff. Boom and boom. 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 I'll just put my defenses here. Now, did I put the defenses down over here? No, because I was thinking about how we were going to expand. I'll just throw one there. We should be well covered, and there's one up here too, a turret. It's got us kind of giving us some protection as well. But we're more than adequately covered. So let's assume that we want to start mining this block. And it's a nice pillar, which is kind of an annoying shape. We'll make it work. How about... I'm going to have to get squirrely with my power, but it's all right. Let's do... Let's do... There's no power thermic generators down here. This... Okay. Do that and that. And eventually we're going to have storage boxes here or here. Right? That's where our lift is going to stop. In fact, we can fill this all the way in. I need to get power over there. Let's do that. 
How do I want to do it? I'm told it's not so great to have power right next to um right next to a laser transmitter pointing straight into it. Let's see. We can do something like maybe for now I just throw another guy there. Bam. Right? And then I get some nothing's gonna mine because this thing doesn't have drill heads so it's like I can't do anything. It says right there at the bottom left drill stuck standard cutter header can't dig. Let's take care of that here in a second. I'm going to put a hopper here and a hopper here. These are going to be remove onlys. But so don't put crystal in there. These are for cutter heads. And I don't have any on me. I got to go get some. Do we? Did I leave them down there? Z. Yeah, those are them right there. Let's grab some. Can I reach from here? Yeah, I can. Let's just take all this. Don't worry about the hopper. We'll get it later. Someday never. And before I put those in here, I do want to route the output. So here's the output coming out. It can be logistics hoppers. It doesn't matter, really. I guess I've been using logistics hoppers. Let's stick with that belt. Um, we can either enter this way or come around. Coming around seems a bit more convoluted, but that's... We're going to probably want to be on that side for that deposit. Doesn't matter. Let's uh, put down three storage hoppers here. Boom, boom, boom. Those will be sitting right in front of our conveyor lift. And then my output here. Just want to make sure the cutter heads don't get dumped on there, so I need to kind of Go out a little further than need to. Boom. I gotta hop this belt. Or hop this, um, alright, power beam. That won't be a big issue. Boom. Yeah, and this is the crystal that's gonna come out. In fact, I'm tempted to put yet another hopper down. Uh, you know what? We're going to want to get potentially at that one too. So let's, let's move this out a bit. Then if I want to run this power beam over to something, I don't know what. Maybe to a, a mine, a crystal mine that we find out that way. Then this belt won't be in the way. Okay. That, oh, I just... I forgot what I was, my big concern. I don't think these belts are going to work <laughs> down here. Let's, uh, let's find out. We'll throw in some of these. I can't believe I got to do this one at a time. There must be a better way. One, two, can I double click? Nope, that doesn't work. Three, okay, you get three and your buddy gets four. Yeah, there should be a better way to add these. So I think our belts are going to freeze up, right? It looks like they're working a little. Are they just slower or will they actually lock up? That's warning frozen. Still moving. That's not optimal. Let's, um... Let's, let's, let's look in the crafting menu. Do I have the ability to craft anything better? I don't. Just belts, right? Let's head up to the surface. I mean, this is kind of working rudimentarily. Rudimentarily? Rudimentarily? I don't know if that's a word. But, um, let's go to the surface. I'm actually going to set Arthur to charge up. I'm sure he's been keeping me warm. I'm going to go not to the hub. I can't reach it. I'll go to someplace close. Someplace really close. I don't chew up a lot of power. This guy looks the closest. And then we'll go to the hub from here. This one's probably fully charged. Hub. 
And we're gonna look at the transport tube kind of thing. I'm sure we've unlocked everything. Our hub is held up. Oh man, that guy is really high in the air, isn't he? No problem. Yeah, our defenses are holding up so far. Missiles have awesome range. Boy, it sure would be nice not to have the hub crash in all time. Let's take a look at the missile inventory while we're up here real quick. That one's got 100. That one's got 100, so we're in good shape probably. Let's check this one real quick. Here it's the same. Got 100 used, 100 used, or 91 used, free 9. This one's blocked, right? Because it's got all these lower ones, lower powered ones blocking any high powered ones from getting there, but... We, you know what we could do? Hmm. That's ah, fine. We'll leave it. What am I looking for? I'm here looking for better transport. I think it's the tubes, right? Let's take a look. There's something down here. Transport pipes. Hardened machine blocks. Oh, man. Okay. No power required, unaffected by extreme cold, and less susceptible to attack. That's what we want, but remember when I was talking about we need to automate machine blocks at the top of the episode? We don't have these automated. We're not even close. And we're going to be spending some time in the cold caverns because I want to set up probably three cargo lifts full of uh, doing crystal mining. And that means a lot of transport pipes. We don't need to worry about the filters. But we need these transport pipes, I believe. Let me see what else we've got. Basic matter mover. Okay, beams resources from an attached storage hopper to another up to 64 meters away it requires a line of sight. High energy cost. We could use these. They're actually, you know, we've got the materials. Except for copper wire. Um, but I think you got to run power to these. They're fast. I'm not, I don't think we really even need to worry about the speed. These are obviously just going to be upgraded ones. Hmm. Kind of tempting, actually. Beams resources. Okay, up to another. Up to 64 meters away. I'll save a little bit on um, defenses, I think. I don't have to worry about Minox stealing stuff off of the belt. Uh, I don't think... Actually, I don't think these other ones have Minox either, right? This is less susceptible to attack. I've got to guess that that means there's no Minox. Uh, let's see. This is kind of what I feel like we need to do. These don't take power. But we could skip over that entirely and just go to these and learn how to use them. We're going to chew up power. A lot of power. That's going to increase our threat rating. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about it between episodes. We're just about done on this one. I think I'm kind of leaning towards doing the regular transport pipes and just changing gears and automating the hardened machine blocks. I know we've got to do that too. Just like the crystal, we've got to automate the machine blocks. Maybe what we do next episode is set up the cargo lift down to level 210 where we've got that little crystal mine. See if it actually um, loads up. And stores product. If it does, if it does kind of work and the belts are just kind of slow but not totally seized up, maybe we go with that for a little bit. Then we can go set up storage for the crystal at least and start, you know, storing stuff. Um, if they seize up, the belts seize up, then maybe we switch gears and start doing those hardened machine blocks or whatever they were, right? These guys here, hardened machine blocks. They, what do they take? Titanium housings. We've got plenty of titanium. We probably need to automate the housing creation. And then the secondary upgrade modules. We, I can't remember what that is. Those are made out of, um, but we could automate that too and store those off. I think we need a bunch of these blocks. So yeah, I'll give it some thought between episodes. I'm thinking we're going to go down this route though, to automate these things and maybe set up storage and everything else. It looks like our defenses are going to hold. So, man, there's just a lot to do. 
There's a lot to do. We want to get that crystal mining automated so we can uh, automate the crystal clocks. That's going to help us. That might even help us with the machine blocks and everything. I don't know. We need to extend our bug part collection, right? We're just every minute wasting or every attack. We're just wasting hundreds of bug parts that we could be using to make things for us like solar panels and all kinds of good things. But it all takes time. Let's wrap this one here. Like I said, next episode, we'll see if we can get the crystal mining going without those transport tubes. If we can, then we'll kind of finish that out and get a lot of it running, even if it's suboptimal. If not, we'll move on to hard machine blocks. For now, this is Gladdercat signing off, saying thanks so much for watching. Super special thanks to patrons and channel members. Really appreciate your support of the channel. Of what's It's what keeps this content possible. It's what keeps the channel afloat. Hopefully, there are some patrons who are enjoying this particular series. Um, and then thanks to everybody else who's been sticking with the series. We're getting some decent views here late in the season. Or we're probably only midway through the season, if I'm honest. But uh, that's a, boy, that wasp was flying fast, wasn't he? But yeah, thanks everybody. I'll see you all in the next one.